hate me. That's two live streams that messed up. What was the one didn't start? Or that was a premiere that didn't start in the live stream. What is up, my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another live streams. Uh, I guess we're gonna be doing a little struggling with Shreddy. I know I'm gonna be struggling today. I know I'm gonna get sweaty. But before we get started on this uh, struggling with Shreddy episode, if you guys wanna support the channel, check out all those e-bike discount links down below. I don't know what I have discount for right here. Let's see, we got a Wicked Thumb headlight. We got a discount for that. I think I do have the link. We're gonna be installing these Enduro V-Tire Huntsmans. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the link for uh, Amazon down there. Um, we are streaming on TikTok also. I think, are we, yep. still, are we streaming on TikTok, TikTok also? So if you guys uh, are on TikTok and you guys feel like the quality isn't as good, hop over and uh, watch us on YouTube and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be installing the V Huntsman's tires on the Super 73 RX. Um, but you know, before we get started, let's see who's all in the chat. I wanna say hi to everybody. I wanna say actually a big shout out to all the Shredhead members, uh, first member Bulletproof. 47 and we got Scarecrow and Brian McCann. So shout out to you guys. If you guys want to join the Shredhead membership, make sure you check out that link down below. It's a, I think it's like youtube.com forward slash Shreddy McScape forward slash join. Hit that and uh, I'll give you guys shout outs and let me know uh, what other perks you guys want to see. Okay, so far we have Emilio Salcuero. What's up, Emilio? To, he said, can't wait to see the new tire, Shreddy. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's, let's get a little zoom in on it. I'm Toad Boy Memes, sup What's guys? up, Toad Boy? Bubba Shitties in the house. Bubba, what's up? Bulletproof. Bulletproof 47, the number one member right there, the first one ever. Ultima, hey gang. What's up, Paltima? Paltima in the house. So, struggling with Shreddy, these always turn into you guys helping me finish the install. I'm gonna get to a point where I probably will get stuck and you guys just remember everything I do and then I'll try to do it back in reverse. And, just screenshot, screen grab. So these Scarecrow are. Scarecrow is also in the live. What's up, Scarecrow? I give you a little shout out, member shout out earlier. So shout out to you, brother. <laughs> so these are 20 by four inch tires for the that I'm gonna be putting on the Super 73. The stock Badger tires just were so slippery for me, and they're actually like already dry rotted. So I'm ready to swap them out, and I'm kind of interested to see what wheelies are gonna feel like, opposed to like this more rounded tire. This isn't as rounded as the other one, so I'm hoping I can still feel that good balance point on these tires, but I'm excited to finally have some good sticky dual sport tires. These aren't as sticky as these, but any questions, guys, before we get started, because you know, I'm dreading it. Uh, just more people joining. I see Connecticut said, hooray, the tree is still up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told her we got to take it down. Uh, today's the last day it's got to be up. It's literally February coming up tomorrow, right? Loon's in the house, said Shreddy Loon, what's, what's up, up, brother? How you doing? Thanks for joining. I see Connecticut said hi, Robert from Hartford, Connecticut. What's up, Hartford, Connecticut? I need to make that trip up there again soon. Don Bug said, hey, Shreddy. What's up, Don Bug? Anthony Means, yeah, I guess just leave the tree up until Christmas. Until next year again, that, that way you don't have to put up the decorations. <laughs> Herbert Boss. Texas, checking in. What's up, Texas? I miss Texas. I'll be Amelia back down there soon. Soquero, nice tire, Shreddy. Thank you. I'm Scarecrow, excited. Cool tires. Toe Boy Vlogs, rub some gum on the tires. Make them extra sticky. Extra LOL. sticky. Hell yeah. So these are... People on TikTok saying Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What's up, TikTok? How many TikTokers we got in there? I'm not sure. The top thing says uh, 242. Oh, so we got 242 people hanging out at t on TikTok. You guys are going to watch me struggle with this tire install, but if you guys have a tire to install, maybe you can pull out your bike and we can do it together. Ah, all right. Let me answer one more question and I, then I can get started on it and while answering questions, because this is gonna, I feel like this might take a little, little time. Oh, you also want to mention the giveaway, a month of giveaway is starting tomorrow. That's right, guys. We have uh, two separate giveaways, one from Suron Canada. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and on YouTube, you're subscribed. We have a lot of stuff from Suron Canada get to give away, a hat, some gloves, a little side fanny pack. Uh, what else we got in there? Another side pack and a t-shirt. There's a Suron t-shirt in there too. And then our biggest, biggest giveaway that I'm super, super excited for. We're giving away this swing arm and you're gonna 
get the color of your choice. Did I just knock out the light? <laughs> yeah. I might have broke it, by the way. It's back on. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is a swing arm for the Suron. He might be ma making them for the Talarius thing, but a week from Wednesday, a week from tomorrow, when that giveaway is done, we're gonna be doing a giveaway for this custom swing arm for a Suron. You're gonna be able to choose a custom color powder coat, and you can also choose your own little design logo in there, which is pretty freaking awesome. Stoked about and that. what are the, fe the top features about the swing arm? So this is the first fully illuminated, fully aluminum TIG welded uh, swing arm, extended swing arm for the Suron. Which means you one can, piece. Yeah, I didn't one know that. piece, <laughs> one solid piece. So most of them are two pieces and you gotta bolt them on or whatever, but, and you can actually put bigger tires, like bigger diameter tires in there. So you can rip, you can rip with this swing arm. I'm excited to get mine. He's gonna send me a, a custom color. I, I gotta figure out what color I want and I'm gonna get my logo put in there. So that's gonna be pretty fun. All right, so as I'm doing this, I can be answering questions for you guys because I got to remove the battery first. You always want to remove the battery before you flip the bike over. And the uh, swing arm is aircraft grade or something. Aircraft grade aluminum, was it like T6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum made in America? Moon said, Shreddy, you sure we can't put those tires on the Suron? That would be sick. Nah, they're, they're too, uh, they're, they're not for the Suron. That would be pretty cool, little fat tires on the Suron. So before I flip the bike over, I'm gonna uh, get the display upside down. That way I don't squash it. And then I have a bell over here. I'm gonna flip it upside down, but I've gotta be careful of my horn. Last time I did this, I ripped the freaking horn cable out. And then I lost my horn. Uh, that, that. Let's make, every, make sure everything's good before I flip it. You guys are gonna see us struggling with Shreddy today. I know it. I thought Matt the mechanic was gonna be over here helping me out, but he's building a Bomber Mars BAC 8000 Suron. So I'm gonna put it, try to be able to work Joe around Vlogs, it. My bike doesn't wanna change tires. It's too tired. <laughs> too tired, I love it. <laughs> Love it. It's retired. Oh my God. I should probably be wearing gloves doing this. Why are your hands getting dirty? <laughs> oh, wow. All good, all good. I'll try not to get anything on the couch. I'll make sure. Maybe we should put like a towel on that couch before I get dirty. Do you need a wet paper towel? No, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna get even dirtier. So as you can see, I take my, my uh, Super 73 off-road on the beach, so it's pretty dirty. I do a ton of wheelies on it. Um, so I think I'm going to start off with the front tire. Can you guys see? Should I turn it sideways a little bit? I'm going to start off with the easiest first and then watch it be the hardest because that's I usually how it goes. I Connecticut said, are you going to put new tubes also? <clears throat> no, I'm going to keep the old tubes. I do have like two sets of tubes in my book bag in case I need them, but now nah, I'm going to keep them. I'll check them out make sure they're not like crazy, like... Well, when I did have the tire liner in there, I'm, I know it was like a little bit of rubbing going on. So I'll just inspect it, make sure everything's good. Here we go. All right. I think we have a five here. Any questions while I'm doing this? I can answer questions. That one's on there. So maybe this. Shadow Miss said, I still have zero bikes. <laughs> zero bikes? What's going to be the first bike that you want? Like what, what has... Uh, what e-bike has inspired you? Amelia Salquero, are you going to paint your Super 73 RX? Uh, as of right now, no. The thing I really want to paint is probably my Ron. I want to get I that love, custom colored. I love these um, stickers on the Super 73 RX. They're from Blur Boundaries, the army. I love that. I'm not sure if I do the pinch bolts first or last on this. Do you guys know about that? Definitely, that almost went in, in me. Yeah, ask them if the pinch bolts are first or last. Are pinch bolts first or last? Wait, <laughs> who am I asking? Uh, everybody, that? anybody that can answer. <laughs> oh, I said ask them like I couldn't I ask you guys. <laughs> like, hey, can you wait. ask them a question even though they can definitely hear me? 
when I put it on, you guys got to help me. Pinch bolts last or first when I go on. iSchool Connecticut, if G is not on the next video, we know that Shreddy got grease on the white sofa. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be doing it on his own. I'm not sure if I take them all the way out. I feel like I've only taken this tire off once ever in my life for a tire change, but I totally do not remember what I had to do here. I know Paltum is in here. He'd definitely be able to help me out with this. So now Benaya said, still no stock of the Huntsman tire on their Amazon account. Didn't you just put an Amazon link? Were they in stock on that? For the Huntsman? Yeah, they were in stock. They were like, they're like a hundred bucks of like a tire, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, check the link we put in the description below. There should be the link for the e Huntsman tires. Guys, do I have to back out the whole pinch bolts all the way out or what? Seems like I might have to go Toe even more Wolves. than what I got. Freddy, what's the biggest mistake you have made with e-bikes? Uh, damn, I don't even know. The other, well, when I tried to put on the, uh, the bearing in the Huck front tire, I forgot to put the sleeve in and I had to repurchase another bearing pulling kit because one I had didn't work and we broke the first bearing that we put it out. Ah, it, was, it was a crazy mess. It was a mess. Ultima said pinch bolts on first. All, okay, pinch bolts off first on last. Don't take them all the way out. Oh, don't take them all the way out. Oops. So they're in, in but my, uh, it's not sliding out, guys. Shadow Miss said he likes the Arrow Rider 52 bolt, but I'll probably have to go with something around 1600. Which is uh, shreddy. I'm not sure on. like how the axle comes out of this thing. Like I thought you were just supposed to push it on right out. Uh, Shadow Miss Shreddy just unboxed a affordable, like lower cost electric moped. Eddie, what was the name of it? That was a T14 from Engway. And I think the top speed on that thing was about 19 miles an hour, they say. And it's 1600 with your code with um. I'm gonna take off this front caliper just in case. That code should be listed in the description of this video under next to Engway. Engway. If, if it's not, we'll add it. But um, Shreddy has a discount and it makes the bike like a lot cheaper. And it's still like an electric motorbike moped. Yeah, I think off Amazon was it like 500 bucks or something. So right now I'm taking the brake caliper off. And then I think I'm gonna put that little yellow brake spacer thing in there. Eddie, we're not talking about the miniature bike. He's talking about oh. the electric motorbike. Which he, one? <laughs> he likes the Arrow Rider 52 volt, but I'll okay. probably have to go with something around 1600. So that is the, isn't that the Frigo? That would be the Frigo, yeah. Frigo no, F1 Pro. Frigo F1 Pro, and that discount link is in this video's description. Yes, sir. What's going on over at TikTok? What's up, TikTokers? We're not forgetting about you. We try to remember you. Oh, here we go. We have some comments on TikTok now. What's up, TikTokers? Uh, Yatu Chavez is on TikTok. Hey, now. Yatu. Yatu, join the you um. Head over to YouTube, YouTube. If, for better sound. Did anybody else figure out how to get this dang? Uh, Axle out of here. Said how much was the e-bike? <laughs> this one, I think they're like almost 4K now. They said, don't make me bark. And then they started writing arf, arf, arf. Arf, arf. <laughs> Are people barking on me on TikTok? Your brake is holding your wheel. What bike is this? This if is a guys, Super 73 RX, my homies. For people on TikTok, if you join his YouTube, he has electric bike discount links and electric motorbike discount links in his video's descriptions. If I'm you're gonna interested hold in that any there. of the bikes. So just remember when you guys take off that brake and you don't have a little spacer thing like that, don't hit your brake, your brake uh, lever. Okay, so that's off. And my axle is still in there, guys. How do I get the axle out? Brian McCann <laughs> said, hey Eddie and D. Brian McCann, how do I get this axle out, bro? Help us shreddy out. I gotta remember to keep all these little nuts and bolts together. Amelia said so, the army color will look nice on the Super 73 RX. My pinch bolts are like pretty loose, all the way loose. It's always a struggle with Shreddy. 
on these tire changes. Remember what happened when we did the bandit? That was a crazy mess. Could I like push it with this thing? Yes, that's exactly what I just hey, did. Hey, said 12 minutes in. I see. How much struggling with Shardy have I missed? Uh, it's, we're in it, bro. We're in it, Brian. And you missed the beginning. We are having technical difficulties. Yeah. We couldn't get the stream started. Huh. Oh, my God. There's so much oil everywhere. What the heck is this oil coming from, guys? Well, first that he can get a this. Super 73 Z1 for less than 1600 You can? I thought I, I thought I accidentally just touched my whole rotor with all this oil that was just coming out of that axle. <laughs> Guys, what would you do to get this axle out? There's like, I'm trying to push it with this thing. I don't want to like ruin my axle. Little Laggy said you should give away the old Suron forks. That is a possibility. We could do a giveaway for that. That would be kind of fun. Uh, what do you think of the Rad Rover electric bike? We have a question from TikTok. The Rad Rover? I haven't really ridden it, but I've, I've definitely heard good things about it, but I can't really tell you uh, from any experience that I've had on it. He hasn't reviewed the Rad Rover, but if you head to his YouTube, he's reviewed a bunch of other electric bikes and motorbikes. I can tell this is going to be a struggle with Shreddy getting it back on. So, we got the axle out. All right, so I'm going to put these on the ends. I know this carpet's going to get pretty dirty. So you, gonna... you should check out my stretch low rider e-bike. What? Yo, send me the link. I would definitely love to check that out. Sounds awesome. All right. Success. We got uh, the tire off. I'm going to try to scoot this a little bit out of the way. That way I can get in front of you guys and work on this tire. All right. This is fun. Keep all the tools and stuff in the corner. Ow. It's oh, got spiked. Uh, yeah, he said he double checked our link for Amazon, but it says they're currently unavailable. Seriously? It did say in stock when I just looked at it, but maybe they're just getting sold out quick. Brian McCann said Hammer Force LOL. That was so hard to get that thing out. <laughs> I started getting a little sweaty with Shreddy. Ultima said after the pinch bolts are loose, use a five millimeter to remove the through axle bolts. Five millimeter to remove the through axle bolts. Got them all out. So now when I put them on, do I do the, the uh, pinch bolts first and then the axles? Let's get to that point and we'll figure it out. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna deflate this tire totally. I'm gonna take the little valve core out of it. These actually, there's a bead on, the, on these tires. They, they, so when you get the tire on, you gotta hear that pop on both sides. Ultima said, then you hold the wheel and guide the through axle out using an eight millimeter. I'm gonna, we're gonna get to that point. Please stay here for the rest of the stream. I hope you can, you can uh, stick with us on this. All right, so valve core rem removal tool. I should have got like a, like a plate to pull up, put all this stuff in. Oh man, it smells like fish. <laughs> the tire? Yeah, the air that's in the tire stinks. Caca. I scoot Connecticut said I've ridden several rides. They're all pretty good. I like those big rad dad bikes. I think Dimebag Darren wrote Stokes. Dimebag! The homie made it to the freaking stream today. All right. So Breaking the said, beat. Anyone seen the new e bikes from Watch Wagon? <sighs> no. Have you heard of Watch Wagon e bikes? <sighs> Sorry guys, I, I'm just breaking the beat on both sides. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was fun. Can I take this, the whole, oh man, I hate this. So there's a little, um, little nut you gotta loosen in there. Luckily I have my trusty, no I don't. My trusty, uh, my trusty something in here. Can I answer any questions while I'm looking for my trusty something? Yeah, have you heard of Watt Wagon e-bikes? Watt Wagon e-bikes, no. If you can send me a link, I would love to check that out, for sure. Remember, you guys can send links on Instagram, Facebook, in the comments, YouTube comments. 
Ryan McCann said, hammer blowtorch, lots of water for the battery. Actually, I'm not taking the inner tube out. I could leave that. I'm just switching the tire, right? So. So I made Darren said, looking good, man. How big are those? Uh, the new ones are 20 by four. The old ones, uh, 20 by four and a half would be <laughs> the front one, 20 by five in the rear. And they're uh, directional, so you got to make sure you're facing the arrow the right way. We have some people on TikTok. What's up, TikTokers? Is this Christmas morning 2023? I feel like a whole year just flew by. Is what? <laughs> Is this Christmas morning 2023? <laughs> the whole year just flew by. Damn, nobody else has their damn Christmas trees up. <laughs> it's a fake tree, guys, so I figure let's leave it up. For the whole year. It looks festive. Get that oh, out of there. <laughs> so always, road is always on the left side. So remember, when it's right side up, rotor uh, is on the left side. This is a directional tire. So um, there's usually an arrow on these. Uh, yeah, so it shows you direction is that way. I should have unwrapped it. <laughs> direction is that way. I wonder if I can get this on without having to take Ryan the tire McCann out. said, remember to grease the wheel axles. Oh, shit. Yeah, good idea. I got, I got some grease outside. Ultima said, axle bolts first, then tighten the pinch bolts. I wonder if I can get these in here. James Sanchez, I've been thinking about changing my tires, too. Maybe I should add, like, a little bit of air to push them in here. I usually put in the... Uh, Inner tube last. Struggling with shreddy. That's got to get the one side on. Any questions on the TikTok? Any questions anywhere? Yes. Um. Maybe I should take these off and get the tire in. There we go. I'll do it like that. Brian McCann, if it smells like fish, it's a no play zone. <laughs> That's true. Bulletproof. Watt Wagon has some pretty sweet bikes. Steinbeck Darren, wow, 20 by 5. Dom Boss Claire, where can I find this tire 26 by 4? Oh, do they even sell these 26 by 4? You might want to check on Amazon. They might have them. I'm not 1,000% sure, but that is a possibility. Any TikTokers asking questions? Hey guys, on TikTok, if you guys wanna subscribe on YouTube, make sure you head over there. I have more awesome content and great giveaways coming. Toboy Vlogs. They make a electric mountain bike similar to Luna Cycle Z1 called the Hydra. And they announced a bike called the Hound, which is like a high-end hunting cargo e-bike. Oh, that sounds cool. That would be like my grizzly. <laughs> I feel like you can definitely be a go hunting with a grizzly. Brian McCann said, remember to check, double check, and triple check these nuts. These nuts. Always check your nuts. Always check. ICU Connecticut said, can you soap up new bike tires to help them on? You can, but we, we don't really have uh, any soap that we can uh, get right now that's easy to get. I'm not sure. This way. All right. So let me put a little bit of air in these tubes. Um, I'm going to use a hand pump so it's not really loud yet. Getting sweaty with shreddy already. I'm getting sweaty now. Getting sweaty. I thought it was going to be a little more of a struggle getting that darn axle out. It was pretty struggling though. All right. So we're going to get this valve core back on in there. Have you guys changed the tires on your e-bikes or anybody else's e-bike yet? I've done this. I did these exact same tires for Shaver on his Super 73 S2. And for the little bit I've, that I rode on it, they did feel all right. William Saloka said, use baby powder. Works great when putting tires and tubes on rims. That's a good idea. Any TikTok questions, guys? Brian McCann said, 
Sweaty with Shreddy sounds like a porno film. Getting sweaty with Shreddy. Did you guys know that I was a singer for a emo, screamo type band for a few years? The name of the band was called Self Checkout. And it's actually in a lot of the intro videos that I, uh, that I have on my YouTube. Toad Boy Vlog said, getting rimmed. Get rimmed. I'm like, is there a, is there a hole in this door entire? I have this uh, Milwaukee pump that I really love using on all my, all my tires. You can even use them on your car. But I think I do have an Amazon link down there. If you guys check out my Amazon store. Brian McCann said self checkout was cool. I see Connecticut. We're still waiting for a guitar solo. I know. I still haven't went to the darn guitar store to get new strings yet. Shreddy is slacking. I'm th oh, yeah. So it looks like my inner tube's a little bit tangled up. So I'm going to pull out this side of the tire. Because you don't want the inner tube twisted at all. <laughs> What's so we said? I wonder if anyone understood what I said. What he said. <laughs> Brian McCann, Canada has a self checkout healthcare program. <laughs> That's probably where we got the name from then. <laughs> I'm not liking what it's looking like in here with this tangled weave that we, this tangled web we've <laughs> weaved. I might take like out this whole lyrics. inner tube, <laughs> reinstall. Is that song lyrics? This tangled web we've weaved? Not <laughs> probably. This tangled web that we weave. There we go. It was tangled up. So, let's figure out which way it goes. Can I use that phone or do you need it? Um, you can grab it. It might be dying though. I want to do Insta Live. Insta Live? <laughs> We're doing live all of them? Everything. No, that, that phone's probably dying. All right. So, it looks like it's totally crazy twisted up. It's very twisted up. What in the world? Was it like that when it was like installed? Look at that. It's got like a twist that way. What the hell? All right, we're taking out the inner tubes, fellas. Toboy Vlogs, room has a separate meaning, LOL, related to the sweating with Shreddy. Getting sweaty with Shreddy. <laughs> Bulletproof, the tube will go in better with some air in it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of air, but I just want to take it completely out and re reassess the situation, I guess. The scarecrow, will those tires help you jump that curb wiped out on you wiped out on? I hope so. <laughs> it might have better climbing capabilities than this one. Yeah, he wiped out in front of me. That's how I got her number. I was like, yo, what's up, girl? First group ride. I saw it coming too. <laughs> she didn't even laugh or say anything. She just like looked at me like, uh-huh. <laughs> that was you. Brian McCann. That was you. You what could happened? use expanding foam in your tires for no flats. Yeah, you did send me a few of those links. I'm scared to use that stuff. Unbold. I just joined. Did you make sure your rotation is correct direction? Yes, I did. I sure did. I just messed up and somehow got this thing in there all types of like crooked and whatnot. <laughs> See how that tire looks? What the hell? Hold on. What's going on here? Yo, Charlie this A, is... good evening, people. Shreddy. What's Peace. up, Charlie? Yo, hold on. What the hell is going on? Why is that all? Okay. There it goes. Jeez. Yeah, the, the tire was totally just twisted. Twisted. All it right. is so funny how TikTok, it is just like people trolling each other. Like every comment's like, why is your tree still up? Why is your tree not up? Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Where'd I put that bolt? There I ask you, Connecticut, that helmet LED sign in the background is going to give me a seizure. Do you want me to turn it on? 
I figured somebody would get bothered by it. <laughs> Brian McCann, pool noodles work too. Have you tried pool noodles as tires or as inner tubes? That's crazy. Toboy Vlogs twisted. Did you see how twisted that was? How that was dare crazy. they treat, tweet Shreddy this way? Don't tweet me like that. Everybody's trolling me for the tree. I want it down, guys. I want the tree down. Did anybody watch Kill Tony last night? It was like one of the best episodes I've seen in a while. It was awesome. I had a good time watching it. I'm sorry I didn't uh, join you guys last <laughs> night for the stream. Santo Vinay, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, said you need to see some tutorial on how to do it properly. <laughs> no, I'm doing it the shreddy way, bruh. He never reads directions. Nah, man. And I get direction from you guys. You so guys, this you're, is your tutorial. You're not helping me out. <laughs> So as you guys aren't helping me out, I'm just going to do it the way I do it. Charlie A. Hey, Shreddy, when you come to New York City, that episode is going to be called That's Illegal. Ha, ha, ha. That's Illegal. <laughs> Brian McCann said, keep the tree up. Toby <sighs> Vlogs, what's that show about? It's a comedy show in Austin. Eddie went to when he was down. Please watch Kill Tony and binge on it. Please just watch it and binge. You'll thank me later. Let me get it we started with this first. We can still see the light from that helmet. Now it's just sideways. Even more annoying. Is that what they're saying? It's, to me, like, now I see it. Oh, okay. dear. I'll just add in a fun little light show, but I guess Freddy can't always party. I guess I can't always party. Darn it. Shadow Miss on the next episode of Struggling with Shreddy. Toad Boy, what state are you based in, Shreddy? Yo, guess what I just did. Oh no. What? Nothing. I didn't I didn't do anything wrong. Alright, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> it's always on the left side. Alright. Uh question? Question? TikTok? Instagram? Uh YouTube? Yes. Where Toad we Boy at? said, what state are you based in, Shreddy? We are in Delaware. We are at the Delaware beaches, guys. So if you guys uh, ever want to join us on a group ride, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff. I like to post all our group rides on there. And I also travel to group rides. Uh, I'll be going to group rides down in Florida for the big mega ride on uh, March 3rd through the 5th, I'm pretty sure, in Tampa. Bulletproof, I watched Kill Tony once. I'm done with The Last of Us. The Last of Us? Oh, that's a video game. Oh. I beat the first one. That's it on uh, PlayStation 4. That was awesome. Toboy said Freaking Delaware. Zombies. I know. Nobody ever knows where Delaware is, man. Loon, did you think you had the tires backwards, LOL? I, I, think, I thought I did, yeah. I thought I had the <laughs> in reverse, but yeah, the direction's going that way. Rotor's always on the left side, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Should have missed that. I'll do it when I get a bike, LOL. <laughs> Unbold. I bought these same tires. I had a hard time setting the bead. That's what, okay, so <laughs> we're getting to that point. Um, where we had to set the bead, I think it was like at 50 or 60 PSI on, uh, on Shaw's bike. And every time we got it to like 60, we're like, I don't know if we should do it anymore. Like we kept on backing up, turning it off. And I don't know, we could use a little bit of soap to set the bead good um, in a bottle, in a water bottle, but we don't even have the water bottle. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is turn this on and hope for the best. And then just watch everything hopefully settle in place. And vinegar be in the water bottle. <laughs> I have water and vinegar in a water bottle. Tighten this up a little bit. Actually, I should probably leave that loose because that's going to tighten up as I blow it up. Unbold. Did I say this? This oh, is yeah. going to get loud. Okay. Go ahead. I'll answer that one. Oh no, he's, he was saying how he bought the same tires and had a um, hard time setting the bead. I also used a 20 by 4.0 instead of the stock 20 by 4.5. Does yeah. it matter? I still have extra tubes. No, it should be good. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys and you can hear me still talking. We're at 5 PSI. It's going to be two pops. We're going to have to hear two pops to make sure that it, everything's aligned. 10 PSI. Uh-oh, okay. I'm already having a little pop out right here. 
Uh, so I'm going to let some air out. Glider Glider said beadlaw. Toeboy Vlogs. LOL. I have found a podcast called Kill Tony, but I can't find the show. The show is YouTube. on YouTube. Yep. Check it out on YouTube. Just look up Kill Tony. Binge. Binge on it, guys. Binge on it. If you guys want to laugh, just binge on it. I don't mind watching the show. Sometimes Eddie walks around with just, like, the voices playing, and I'm like, oh, my God, please make it stop. <laughs> you guys want to hear some more, huh? Um, That's my said, Tony hey, Shreddy, impression. how did you guys meet the other Suron guy? Uh, which one? Oh, the new writer? Oh, Jeff. Actually, Jeff is an old uh, school mate of D's, and he got, somehow he got famous off YouTube, and he became big in, in uh, like, other uh, countries Bollywood, like, Indian, like India. Bo yeah, like he became huge, man. He said he used to just sing on YouTube and then all of a sudden, you know, just took off and started getting booked for tons and tons of shows. Mm -hmm. He travels all the time. I remember these being a little hard to get on on a Shav's bike. I remember it not being a very easy task. Getting the, the beads is set, everything not to pop out. I've seen people have little, uh, a little problem with like the beads like popping up and over but Toeboy Vlog I think it's said just is all it the political thing it's a comedy in Austin it's comedy yeah Loon said oh that's pretty cool anything going on over at TikTok no it's uh, hard just it's... still people asking why are trees still up the trees <laughs> up <laughs> we keep it up forever guys that's how I want to put on Instagram <laughs> I'm just watching, make sure nothing pops out. Bead's gonna set. It's like... All right, looking good on this side. Looking good on this side. 15 PSI now. I'm gonna take it to like 40, I guess. I hope we hear two pops on this. I'm scared, I hate, I hate the bead popping. It's like the scariest thing. All right, feeling tough, feeling nice and tough. All right, I'm gonna stay away. <laughs> Did you hear a pop yet? Nothing. Should we be doing this in the garage? I feel like I should wear glasses or something. Thirty-one. God, I hate doing this. I hate setting beads. Thirty-six. How many PSI do you guys think it's going to take? 38 PSI. One! <laughs> That's one bead. How many are there? One more. Was that just one pop? Yeah. It was loud. Maybe oh, oh, there's a second one. It popped in. That I've never had that happen where the bead pops after you're done. Have you guys ever seen that happen before? We should do this in the garage next time. He has a tire. Explodes. No, it's not going to explode. It's fine. I'll refill it up again, but now we're good. The bead is set on both sides. Ah, man. It was like almost 50 PSI, guys. Alan Schmidt said four inch fun, eh? Four inches. Charlie A, those tires look sick. Let's see how many PSI is in there right now. 35, we'll probably take it down to like 25 or something. 
Never mind, they're tuning in from Makai, uh, Makaha, Hawaii. Wow, right? nice. What's up? We need to come visit you guys in Hawaii sometime for some group rides. I know there's people out there that'll let me borrow some scooters or bikes. Ryan Albrecht, hello there. How was bike doing? Did you say cool? Ryan or Brian? Ryan. What's up, Brian? How was what? Bike doing it cool. Bike doing what? Uh, I, I, I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> Wait, reread that, Brian. Uh, Ryan, sorry. Ryan. <laughs> Toad vlogs, pop. <sighs> Unboard, it went to 40 PSI, no prob. It still said 45. It's still pretty greasy. So people got the 40 and 45 before the bead had to get. Bike pump ASMR. Bonked in. All right, so this will be my first time ever putting on uh, this front tire, I guess. Marcus Lavani, let's go, Shreddy, I made it. Marcus, I'm so glad you joined and you made it, dude. Thank you for making it, you rock. All right, so wish me luck on this, man, because I've had a hard time getting it out. Is it going to be hard getting it in? Like how much wiggling do I got to do to get this in? What do you guys suggest getting this in with? Just will? Getting it in with will. The will to get it in. Oh, 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 we're, going, we're going crooked. Was it me too? So that's what she said. Oh, I was seeing that on the four inch comment. <laughs> if that's what you're referring to. <laughs> okay, so that's what orange fun, eh? Come on. So the reason I'm having a hard time is because like one side of the front fork is kind of like flexing up and down and I can't line up the axle right now. There we go. I think I got it. Got it. Woo! Thank goodness. All right. Okay. Paul Tama, I hope you're still here. We're at this point. He's here. I'm just going to get these in nice and loose. Do okay. I tighten these up all the way first or pinch bolts first? You guys axle, help me out. He's already writing axle first, axle retainer nuts, then pinch bolts. Axle first and axle retainer nuts, then pinch bolts. You are the man. Where you go? Where you go? Brian said, Gers, you forgot the grease. I know. I didn't feel like going out there. I'm sorry, Brian. You should probably, you should definitely grease it every time you take out that. Four. Sure. For sure. Okay. So should I tighten these up all the way and then tighten the pinch bolt, bolt, bolts all the way or kind of like... I never know how tight these should be either. I do have like one of those little torque... Uh, Wrenches downstairs. <sighs> Just gonna add a little little <laughs> shreddy torque to it because I'm always scared of wheels falling off. Unbold said only six pounds of torque. That was it, I think. <laughs> I think that was good. Oh no! So, ooh, don't hit the brake. Come on, right as this came out. Something yellow came out too. I know, that's the, uh, that was my brake spacer. And luckily I didn't hit the brake. So I'm gonna get my brake caliper back on here. Line the sucker up. Get one bolt in first. Just try not to get any grease on that sucker, on that rotor. Bry Ronster, shout out. Guys, help me out. Come here, help me. Shout out to all you guys here that are hanging out in this stream. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much. Remember, giveaway is coming soon, guys. First giveaway will be announced tomorrow. Yep. We got Suron uh, merch and then a Suron custom Suron swing arm giveaway. Bry, Bry Ronster asked, do you recommend the Kuberg Freerider or Suron? <laughs> Suron, bruh. Suron. Pretty much sir on any day, man. I, I really love riding this thing. And uh, he has a sir on discount code as well as all of his sir on upgrades, discount links for them in the description of this video. There we go. For some reason, I didn't want to grab. 
Maybe. The Cuber looks more like a dirt bike, right? So it's not as stealthy. And it's not it's as, like, kind of like, it has like a seat that can like raise and lower. I feel like that those are more along the lines of like a trials-ish type bike. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Ultima said axle nuts tighten first, then pinchers. Axle nuts. Yo, guess what I forgot to tighten? My pinch bolts. I went straight to the caliper. So, we'll get back to the pinch bolts because that's what I forgot. Some that's why I do these mod or these uh, struggling with shreddies. I need your guys' help. Holt Camp on TikTok said, why are the tires so big? <laughs> these are fat tires for this fat. They're actually smaller tires than the stock ones I just pulled off. These are four inch compared to the four and a half and five on the back. For all terrain e-bike riding. Nice comfortable dual sport enduro tire. It's called the V Tire E Huntsman's. These are only rated for 36 miles an hour, by the way, just so you guys know. So don't try to put these on your souped up bikes because they're not rated for that speed. Luckily, this Super 73 only goes around 30 miles an hour, so. Oh, Bright Ronster said, are you going to give away a Saron? Oh, thank you for the super chat, Marcus Lavani. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate it. And guys, don't forget, we do have the Shredhead memberships. And you guys want to tell me what kind of perks you want to see, definitely let me know. I guess I got to uh, show you guys a swing arm. This is going to be the swing arm for the giveaway. It's going to be custom. You get to choose your own color. This is a one-of-a-kind swing arm, guys, from Defiant EMX. But the first giveaway tomorrow is Saron merch. And that swing arm giveaway will be the next week. Guess what I, I did put on the tire backwards. It's facing backwards. Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. We're upside down. <laughs> We're good. I, I keep only thinking, like, I'm, I always struggle with, do the always struggling with shreddies. And I always do something wrong. And I always got to fix something. You learn from your mistakes. All that stuff. But we're doing good, I guess. So Marco Silvani sent the $9.99 for that food destroyed, LOL. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I had Surf Bagel today. If you guys, um, I do have stories finally now that I hit 10K. So guys, make sure to follow me on those, inst or in not Instagram, the YouTube stories. I do post on that. I went there today on the one wheel. Got a bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted croissant. You got to have toasted for sure. For the Suron merch and the Suron swing arm giveaway coming soon, make sure you're following Shreddy on Instagram as well. Shreddy McSkate. Right now, I'm just gonna align the calipers. And subscribe the way to his YouTube. They say you should do it. Ryan McCann said, hmm, Shreddy needs to talk about alien rides, about testing EUCs. Once I get, once I get the skills, I actually rode an EUC like tried it again not too long ago and I totally lost the skills again. Like I totally just didn't have it. Like it was gone. I was like, man, I was so bummed out. These T-handles aren't that good for Jim this. Vlog said, man, the Kuberg looks dope. It does look cool. It does look like it's got some power too. I think we might have had some on that Suron ride. I want to say there was probably one there. Oh, that Suron Mega Ride, guys. If you guys want to see a huge ride that I did in, in Houston with Suron, Texas, check out that Suron Mega Ride video I got. I might have tagged it underneath in the description of this video. Anything going on at, on TikTok? How, they're just asking how much it costs again. 4000 um, for this bike. It's a Super 73 RX, but now they have, I forget the name of the new one, like the Mojave or something. So right now, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and you guys are interested in getting, um, actually, I don't have a link for the Super 73, but I, I do have the link for the uh, VTAR Huntsman's. I do have a link for an extra battery upgrade from Chi, uh, Shy Battery Systems. Check out that link. Go to uh, ChiBatterySystems.com. Buy any battery you like. Get 5% off using code SHREDDY. They have batteries for the... Suron, Talaria, Super 73, One Wheels, and, and a bunch of other things that I probably am forgetting to mention. So that's and a read. Tons of electric bike discount links in his videos descriptions on YouTube. All right. This All is different brands electric bikes, motorbikes, dirt bikes. Oh, this is going to be hard. I need somebody to hold this brake. 
while I turn that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. One-handed. I mean, it's not a struggle with shreddy unless we're struggling with shreddy. This is probably the hardest way to do it. You probably shouldn't do it like this. All right, is this name J. Lo Conley or J. Lo Conley? <laughs> Uh, will these tires making transitioning to different surfaces more stable? They'll be a lot better than the original Badger tires for sure. They have a nice, like, good tread pattern on them. Yeah, and then they said, the stock Badgers on my Super 73R are dangerous going from soft to hard surfaces, especially at any kind of angle. I have, like, a slight rubbing. Yeah, these are great for all terrains. On bold, how would you grease the axle? I've never done it. Man, I should have brought some grease in. I would have just put some grease over the axle. and Not too much, not too caked on there. Toadboy Vlog said, what kind of merch? Uh, I'll show you guys in a yeah, second. Yeah, I will. I'll pull everything out for the uh, giveaway of the Suron giveaway. And then you probably, you guys probably want to see that arm. Maybe I should just leave it out so you guys can keep looking at it. Or Hemi Cannon said, the Halo swing arm, Tucker, put it away. Chicka chicka bow wow. Bow chicka bow bow. Time bag, Darren. Let's make mistakes together. Bri Ronster, do you have a sir on? And if you do, did the belt ever break? I do have a sir on, and I haven't had a belt break yet, but I was on a ride where somebody else had a belt, belt break. What, the Houston Mega Ride? No, it was actually the ride with Bomber Marv. Um... I forget the name of that group ride, actually. We do so many rides, guys, I always forget. It's like a slight rubbing. I'll, I'll mess with that later. They're actually pretty easy to get straightened out. All right, front tire is freaking done. It looks pretty good. I actually like it. I gotta make sure I got the, the right amount of pressure in there. I wanna keep it around 20, what'd I say, 25? 25 PSI? Is there any questions that we can answer while... Uh, Ryan said nothing much. Nice, that's sweet. Ultima, Man, that took a while for the front, right? An hour? Ultima, I know a girl Jeez. who jumps school buses on her EUC. She's what? 11. Seriously? This is going to be the hardest one's rear. <laughs> All right. Toboy Vlogs, Let's what's the drink. most disappointing e-bike you have ridden? The Monday... Crap, what was it? The Monday Anza or something? Oh, man, the seat hurt, the... Throttle response felt horrible. It just, it felt like the worst bike I've ever ridden. The worst e-bike I ever sat on. It just didn't feel comfortable to, to me. And it was just, ugh. not good at all. So did I get everything right here? Everything's tightened up. The front wheel looks cool as hell, man. It really does. I like the look of it, yeah. All right. All right, Monster, <sighs> how do you enter the Suron giveaway? So that's going to be coming soon. We're going to do a post and it's pr pretty much going to be picked. Oh, the winner's going to be picked by you guys. You got to have a sir on for sure. Um, Wait, let's start off with the one starting tomorrow. Oh yeah. So the one starting tomorrow, I think it's going to be just something on Instagram where you kind of tag a friend, make sure you're following me and uh, sir on Canada, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's, I'll just pull out some of this stuff. This is going to be for the first giveaway. This is going to be running from Wednesday to Wednesday. You're going to get some Suron hats for you and, and your riding buddy. Wait, so, oh, I didn't. Can you look them? Oh, Suron hat. Two Suron hats for you and a riding buddy. Some Suron gloves. You got a Suron, uh, like, face cover for riding. A large Suron shirt. Little Suron, two, actually, two Suron fanny packs for you and a friend. And two uh, little Suron keychains for you and a friend also. <laughs> Or you could do two to giveaways. Ah, nah, man. I feel like there's a lot of people that have friends that they ride with on Suron that they and would then love the hanging out with. And then the next giveaway. Then the next giveaway is going to be a week after that giveaway is done on Wednesday. This is going to be the one announced. So we're going to be giving away a custom swing arm from Defiant EMX. So this is a custom made, what is it, fully aluminum TIG welded. Um, Swing arm is an extended swing arm from Defiant EMX. Um, if you guys are interested in this swing arm right now, make sure you go to defiantemx.com. Use code SHREDDY. You're going to get 150 bucks off this swing arm. Shreddy and you the IE. get to choose some pretty cool colors. And he'll possibly give you custom colors. 
So make sure you're following on Instagram and YouTube for that giveaway as well happening next week. All right, so I'm gonna get started on the rear. I'll get that all aligned. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Let me get a little water. Who's all in the chat? Everybody David still Cook hanging out? David Cook said, what's up? What's up, David Cook? You got, made it just in time to watch some struggling with none other than your boy Shreddy. Fry Ronser said, love your vids. I appreciate you watching, brother. Tell me not to touch the couch, guys. Please remind me, do not touch the couch. Toad Boy Vlogs, you didn't even have to think. You immediately knew that one day was the worst. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dom Waldo, sup, Shreddy? What's up, Dom Waldo? How's your day going today? Do not touch the couch, they said. Oh, uh, well, try not. To. It's really close, and my hands are greasy. The back, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Well, let me rethink this situation. Oh, do you want to tell them about the membership, too, for people just joining? Guys, if you guys want to join the Shredhead memberships, you get some perks. Actually, if you guys want to help me, uh, with creating some better perks. Um, right now we got the membership where you get your own little like uh, shred head little uh, logo next to your face. Um, we're gonna come up with some emojis and, and what else? Uh, members only um, streams. We could do members only uh, early releases on video so members can get to see it a day before anybody else. Your names are highlighted in the chat too. And I think you can notify it of do all we... the videos is Bulletproof in here right now? So if you guys see Bulletproof, how his name is highlighted, if he's still in here. Yeah, Bulletproof's name was highlighted, Brian McCann's name was Brian highlighted. Brian McCann and Scarecrow. And Scarecrow's name was highlighted. They are all the first members. The memberships just started this week. My top three members right there. And Bulletproof did win a prize for being the first member. Yep, he should be getting his Shreddy Mix shirt. Uh, February like 14th or something. It's, it's coming from spring, so hopefully they get it to you ASAP. If you guys want to show you make skate shirt, make sure you check out his merch in the description below as well. I probably shouldn't be using these T-handles. Like, I can't spin. Look, the tire's in the way. <laughs> Any questions for Shreddy? Brian McCann said I was number three. Hell yeah, my top three dogs right there. Top three shred heads. This is taking forever to get this caliper off. I'm gonna find a. I'm gonna have you go live on uh, Instagram too. <laughs> Just go live on everything. That tonight. phone might be dead. It's halfway. It's okay. We're doing this, guys. We're still doing this. The struggle was a little bit real. Darn, I go through brake pads so quick now that I started wheeling. Make sure you guys hit that like so button sad. and subscribe. Yeah, guys. Stay if tuned you, for the giveaways. If you enjoy the content, please just hit that like. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it really does mean a lot to us. Charles M said, take a break and play the guitar. Oh man, I'm, I'm out of my, I think my A string. Yeah, my A string's broken. So all I could do is like. That's it, that's all I got. When you get it fixed, you have to start playing. I know, I, I will start playing again. I used to do like uh, songs at the end of live streams for fun. All right, so Caliper is off. Here's a good question. What Toad is... Boy said, has it been easier or harder to build a following on TikTok than YouTube? TikTok, for some reason, it has blown up like crazy. I've got, I'm up to 23,000 followers on TikTok. And you just started like and I, this summer? Literally, yeah, I just started getting serious on it not too long ago, but I've, I've had a few viral crashes and viral moments with um, getting chased out of the golf course, falling in front of D, then riding that, uh, that Suron got like almost 6 million freaking views. In December. Insane. In like two weeks. So right now I'm going to take off that chain just like that. Scarecrow said, I have two shirts. I am waiting for the new one. Yeah, we need a new logo made. And I got to remove They're this expensive totally. expensive whenever we get like logos made. I remember. If anyone knows anyone that does good artwork for cheap, please let us know. That goes behind like that. I gotta remember how that goes on. Remember Carlson guys, that goes said, like this. Yeah, they're excited you played. Uh, under and over, okay? Don Bug, welcome to the Shredhead. Hey Don, we got a new Shredhead member. What's up Don Bug? Shout out to you brother. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. Guys, can you remember how this goes? This goes, it goes zip over this way and then this faces that way, okay. 
Sorry, I'm like, I got to concentrate. I'm against it. Play mariachi music. <laughs> I wish I could. I was talking about that the other day. I was like, man, I wish this restaurant had a mariachi band. Matt the Mechanic said, Eddie. Dude, I needed you earlier, bro. I was so struggling. Someone so, go. Oh, go ahead. anytime you work on this, like, keep the chain on this side. That way you don't mess up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Someone right. said, I was just about to ask, why are there more viewers than likes? I know. What's up, guys? If you guys are enjoying that content, like, like as we said earlier, just hitting that like button does help a lot, more than you guys even know. And it helps boost that algorithm and get this live stream out to other people to watch, to hang out. Oh, another new member, David Cook. Welcome what? to the trend. David Cook. Thank you so much. Big shout out to you, brother. Thank you so much for being a Shredhead member. Now we got like, what, four, five members now to the Shredheads? Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. So we vlogs. Heck yeah, happy for ya. Matt the mechanic just got Marv's bike out from under the knife. Jeez, that took that took a few hours, huh? So what did he do to Marv's bike? He got the BAC eight thousand in that bad boy, and um, I think that's it, right? Oh man, that freaking Loctite is real. All right, so. As I'm loosening that, I'm, I'm remembering that I've got to get my little clippers and unclip the motor uh, cable here. I gotta remember to get some more zip ties, guys. Remember to remind me to zip tie. Remember to remind me to zip tie, guys, please. Please. So I'm unhooking the motor cable right now. Pretty simple, you just unscrew it and pull it apart. Loon said, Shreddy, if you and D come out to Salem, Massachusetts, you could perform at the Gulu Gulu. That would be awesome. <laughs> oh, Salem? Wait, you live in Salem? That's awesome. That would be so cool, dude. Salem's awesome. All, I don't know, have we ever been there? All of my Sicilian family is up near like Boston and Woburn, Massachusetts. So That's we so go cool. up there with my mom's side of the family. A lot. And my friend Shmeek moved to uh, Maine, so we want to go see him too, like along the beach right there. Okay, so these are... Oh, Salem's awesome. I've that. always wanted to go there, especially around these Halloween. Let's go for that. Okay. All right. Oh, so she this is... Cooked. This is fun. Go ahead. He put the little hand symbol, metal hand, sunglasses. Oh, symbol. man. This thing's so heavy. Oh. Thanks for joining. If you guys remember, I swapped out this motor and the controller not too long ago. So, yep. <sighs> Math mechanic BC8000 6GA from motor to controller and a dual discharge big power harness. Hell yeah, that thing's gonna be a beast. Had some issues from the harness we got, but figured it out. The stuff is never easy. LOL. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Oh, all right. So, again, we're gonna pull out the valve core. I know it, I'm gonna struggle on the back. I know it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna turn into a struggle, guys. Pulling out that valve. How do I even go live on Instagram? I don't even know. Rotor's always on the left, guys. So rem remind me again, rotor's always on the left, so. Oh, here we go. This tire is facing forward this way. And the rotor is on the left. Yes. I always gotta like talk to myself to remember things. Have you guys ever seen a uh, drill like this? Check it. It's like a gyroscopic. You hold the button. Hold on, is it broken? Turn it that way, turn it that way, turn it that way. And if you do it like slowly, it'll turn slowly. It's all in the wrist. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> all right, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, you guys remember, I gotta pop the bead on both sides. That's uno. Uno y dos. That's two. Uno E2. And man, I removed the inner tube last time, or I tried to do it without removing the inner tube last time. Do you think I should do it? Should I try it again <laughs> and, and not get it twisted up this time? Let's see if I can do it. D, do you have the uh, mic on you? No. <laughs> Where is it? All right. That side off. Push the tire out. There we go. 
Oh, it's a struggle. Uh, let's show you guys these tires. Oh my God, I thought I just pushed bolts all over the place. Damn, they are kind of beat up. Look at that. If you guys can see that. You guys can see that on TikTok. 12 people still staying. Guys, on TikTok, if you guys want a better stream, make sure you guys head over to my YouTube channel and watch it there. I know there was like a lot of cracks in there. Like, there's a lot of that stuff going on with these tires. Oh, right there. Barrett, come in and get a Suron. On, uh, Barrett, he has a Suron, and if you want a discount for a Suron, check out his YouTube videos description. And I'm having a giveaway for a Suron swing arm, sir. On. Yeah, follow his Instagram and YouTube this week. He's having um, two Suron giveaways this month. Um, Suron merch and Suron swing arm. Suron swing arms and Suron merch. All right, so rotor is always on the left side when it's right side up. This direction's facing forward, right? Make sure the arrow rotation is going that way. So we're good. Should I take the tire off? Last time I did this, I freaking, I'm taking it off. We're not struggling this time. I think you did a good job last time compared to how you've done fast. Well, you know, each time you do something, you get a little bit better. I'm not saying a lot of it, but every time you do something, you get better at it. So I've, I've done this a few times, I think. How many times have I done this now? A lot. I did this on the S2. Like 20? <laughs> did this on the, band, on the Bandit. I did this on the How Grizzly. How many tire changes have you guys seen? I did it on the Grizz. Yeah, last time I did this, I tangled and yeah, I twisted up the inner tube. It was just a mess. Loon said, yep, I'm next door to Salem. I'm in Beverly, Massachusetts. So many rail trails for e-bikes. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Lots of fun riding to do there. So remember, left side, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Are our trails facing rail forward. trails? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't know what they would call our trails, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Why is everyone saying Freddie farted and someone said sharted, if you will? I farted? <laughs> oh, the tires? James I, Williams, Super 73 I is, pants? I think, the best looking e-bike. It is pretty cool looking. It definitely is a cool oh, looking bike. Oh, I love, like, Wicked Thumb. I love Zeus. All right, so I'm going to leave Freddie also like loves that. Suron. I mean, there's a lot of nice looking e-bikes. A lot of nice. Discount codes below. A lot of discount codes, a lot of e-bikes. Ultima said, turn your wheel around. Your rotor will be on your right side in that position. Hold up. We're good, right? Yeah. Never mind, said Shreddy. When is the last time you rode the Wicked Thumb? Man, it has been a while. It's been a while since I rode my Wicked. And they just had a new release this, uh, yeah. this week. Yeah. They got the, um, what am I doing? <laughs> I want it this way so I could stick the uh, inner tube in. There we go. It's hard to like think and answer <laughs> comments and questions when I'm struggling. All right, I think we're good, right? Rotor's always on the left side when it's up. Yeah, right now it's on the right side, right side up. Yeah, we're good. So what it's did Wicked Thumb come out with this week? Always a struggle with shredding. They came out with a freaking side cart. And I hope they send one over this way so I can start sticking D in it for, for some <laughs> fun group rides. <laughs> I'll just throw her right in there with a book bag and she can carry all her stuff. That would be actually pretty fun, D. Right? What do you think? Yeah, a lot of fun. Did I do it better that it time? Awesome. I think I did it better that time. For everyone on Instagram that is joining, we are also streaming live on YouTube. And Tiki Taki, if you guys like Tiki Taki and not as good a sound. Shop Gather said, hey guys. Hey, how was your trip? Are you guys back yet? When are you guys come back? There, I saw you guys are in New York now. The restaurant looks awesome. What is the restaurant called? All right, getting this tightened. Ow, my finger. Jeez, dude. We have a comment that says, Suron, Suron, Suron. Suron! You know it, you know it. Do you guys want me to bring my Suron in? Is that what's going on? Or do you want me to just keep the swing arm? You want me to keep touching the swing arm? I'll touch that thing. I'll keep touching it. Don't make me. Don't make me touch that damn swing arm. 
Uh, for you guys on Instagram, he is having two Suron giveaways this month. One is starting tomorrow Shut for Suron merch, and then next week, a Suron swing arm giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Suron swing arm is getting covered in greasiness. So where should I put it so you guys can just look at it? There you go. That's getting given away, and you're going to get to choose your own custom freaking color. All right. I think that's crooked. Kitten Pie said, mount that shit faster. I got my timer running. <laughs> I got it on better this time. Shop Gather said, we'll be back home Friday night. Hell yeah. I miss my cookies. All right, let's get some YouTube comments. It's hard to stream on all these platforms, guys. I'm sorry. We try to, we're trying it in this for just one time. Let's see what it's all about. Showboy Vlog said, I personally like e-bikes, so like normal bikes from a distance, incognito mode, lol. Yeah, like my, um, like my Zoos, 1100. Zamodo, I usually put the inner tube inside the tire and inflate it just enough to hold shape. That's what I forgot to do. That's what I forgot. But right now I'm going to fill it up just a little bit and make sure like everything's good inside. Shop Gather said, we need to do dinner when we get back. Yes, Let's definitely. do it. Yeah, for sure. I'm so down. All right. Let's go to 10 PSI just for a second. I'm just making sure like this time it goes smoother than last time. Oh, my hair almost got stuck in there. <laughs> Looking good. Anything popping out, guys? Good? Stick the valve core back in this? No, okay, that's fine. I'll get the beads to stick and then we'll put the valve core in. Loon asked, Shreddy, when do you think you're going back to California? I want to go. I'm hoping very soon. I want to go very soon before winter's over here. What, what did it pump up to last time? About 47? Let's do 47. <laughs> ah, remember, we got to hear two pops. And it's always scary. The last one is, did, any, did anybody ever answer if like they've ever had a bead pop after they turned off the pump? No. <laughs> that was the first that time I've crazy. ever experienced that before. 47. <laughs> zoning out, I'm like looking at that tire, I'm like, oh, it's straight. <laughs> 24 PSI right now. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Let's hope the tire doesn't blow up. Slowly going, guys, slowly. Slowly but surely. I could do some James Bond. Close? 40. Still no pop. What did it go to last time? 47. 42. Forty-three, forty-four, oh one. Oh God! There's one pop. <laughs> I jumped, didn't I? Forty-six. Forty-eight. Stop. 
Okay, that's good. Stop. You can do the rest in the garage before it explodes. That's it. We're at 49. Come on. Maybe it'll eventually pop. No, we got to keep going. It's better than popping the whole tire. We got to keep going to 50. If not, I'll turn, I'll back out and try it again. God, this is always scary. How much PSI could a tire like this take, a fat tire? Like what's max pressure, guys? Nothing, guys. It's at 50. I'm scared to go more, guys. Yeah, let's not do more. It'll eventually <laughs> set. It's fine. It's not going to eventually set. You got to pop it in. Yes, this is the Super 73. He's upgrading the tires. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to deflate and reinflate. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so it looks like this isn't the one that's set, this side set. Brian McCann said 80 tell. PSI. Anaconda, more PSI equals higher profile and higher top speed. Max so, pressure is printed on the side of all tires. Well, this says 36, bro. I don't know. You're way <laughs> past that, so let's not do any more. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's speed. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it does say 36 PSI. Oh, my God. It'll eventually pop, maybe. Yeah, we're good. We got to keep going. It has to happen. We're at 30 back again. We're at 30. It's this side right here. I want to see it happen like in front of me, like right. Yeah, we have people asking, did you use soap and water? We can, we can try after this. 40. <laughs> 42. All right. 46. Yeah, let's not have the tire explode. <laughs> 47. We'll try lube. He's getting scared. It's gonna be loud. I wouldn't care if you're doing it in the garage. <laughs> so it's this side right here that it's not setting right up on this little corner there. The scarecrow said, I would like to get the Zeus. I am also looking at the Wolf King GT scooter. I forgot I had this. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking. I have this. Uh, I've got um, armadillos in this inner tube. I should have probably uh, swapped out this inner tube because there is a hole in this one. Armadillos is holding it. Oh, I should have swapped out the inner tube. Do you have another inner tube? I got two other inner tubes. Yep, you can see that didn't grab on that side. The Rossi bead on this said side deflate, is... brake bead, lube really good, inflate to 60. All right, it's broken, so we're gonna get a little bit of a. Uh, I'm gonna get just dish soap. Ultima said I fill mine and bounce them on the floor. They said just bounce it. A lot okay. of people are saying bounce it. All right, I, I got a little bit of soapy dish water on my hand. Everyone said bounce it. So I'm just gonna go around. All right. Do it again. I'm gonna put the valve core in this time just because I'm scared of all that stuff shooting out. All my armadillo is coming out when I release the air. Rossi said use a lot a lot. More than what I just did? Um, 
everyone on YouTube is saying just bounce it. Okay. Did you hear Scarecrow's question? I would like to get the Zeus. I'm also looking at the Wolf King GT scooter. Ooh, the Wolf King is so freaking fast. <laughs> it's fun to ride though. I wish you can stop over and try the Zeus. If you guys do want to save a, I think you can save like 150 off Zeus right now using code Shreddy220. That's Shreddy with an IE, 220. Saves how much? 150 off Zeus? $150. So, I'm gonna lay it like down like this for a second, just to make sure everything's settling. Let's set, let's set it to like 20 for now. Tree's gonna fall. <laughs> Like this. 15. Looks like the beads. Oh, well, I think we got it. One. It did it at 20. At 20? Yeah. And you have one more? Is that it? No, no. The other side was still set. Okay, good. Yep. I never, I never broke that bead. Johnny Turon said pump up the jam. I'm going to go up to, uh, let me just go up to 30 PSI and I'm going to back it down just in case. Everything look, looks very aligned now. Yeah, perfect. I'll, I'll keep it at 24 PSI. It feels pretty... Uh, pretty solid for what it is. I might have to take a lot of air out the back for doing wheelies because I'm not really sure what, I, what I've ran my pressure at. <clears throat> Let's hope this freaking armadillo holds this time. If not, I got to put a little bit more in there. All right, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to some YouTube comments. Word. Toad Let's Boy, how long did it take you to get your first 1,000 subs doing e-bike content? Man, I can't... I feel like I, I went back recently and watched that, the video where I was like, thank you guys for, for uh, hitting 1K or something. Maybe it was like five or six months, something like that. It wasn't like too crazy long. Charlie, hey, Shreddy, what do you think about that Telaria? It's actually pretty cool. I, I actually do like the Telaria. It's a fun bike to ride. The, uh, the frame feels pretty solid. But I haven't ridden one now. It's like powered up like mine yet. I feel like this is where I would need Matt the mechanic. Uh, Who's the me. distributor for Telaria in the US? I wonder. Uh, Telaria US? <laughs> Anaconda like finally made it. What did I miss? Anaconda! You missed a struggle. You missed a struggle, Anaconda. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't think I struggled too much today. Just with this last tire. The, fir the first tire I struggled more, I think. Loon said, I want to meet Mr. Shauver. Seems like a pretty cool dude. Hell yeah. I, I miss Shauv and the family, man. I'm going to go see him very soon. We talked to him recently. He's so nice. We told him that we miss him. David Cook, I ordered some Shinkos for my Super 73 yesterday. David Cook, when you uh, mount them, why don't you uh, send me a picture of them? I want to see what they look like on your bike. What they look like on your bike. Shadowmiss, I saw they have Golden Eye video game on PC now. That's why I was just playing that. Did you guys hear it? I knew somebody was gonna get that. Bing. Yes, sir. It's hard to play without a pick, and my fingers have like all these little like skin. Pieces hanging off. All right, where are we at now, guys? Um, 
got to tighten these little guys. Any questions while I'm doing this? Because we're, we're almost there. Okay. Man, and again, thanks to all you guys for joining the Shredheads members. You guys all freaking rock. Stay tuned. I'll be definitely releasing some members only early video content for you guys. That's going to be awesome. I could even do like members only like posts too to show you what, I, what I'm doing throughout the day. Bulletproof, when is Shreddy, or Bulletproof on Instagram, when is Shreddy going to mod the RX? Man, for right now, I'm keeping it stock as is, just because the way, uh, I just love the way it feels when I'm doing wheelies on it. I mean, you have upgraded, what, tires, headlight, um, is your seat's upgraded, and your... Yeah, I, I thought he was just talking about, like, power track. upgrades, that's what, like... Handlebars. Okay. Okay, okay. So, there's one thing I need your guys' help is the direction of... So this goes around here, right? I think this goes up here, though, because this goes at the bottom. And it kind of said pressure, so why you so. Dri dribble that tire like a basketball? <laughs> All right, let's see Madison, if this is the right size. Madison, these Huntsman's are great. I replaced my tires in my Aero Rider D-Class and Brad X-Fan 5. Made my rides a lot safer and I feel more confident. Totally and highly recommended. Do you, do you wheelie at all? I, I'm like so scared that it's gonna be hard to wheelie with these tires. That's gonna be like literally the first thing I do after we end this stream is I'm gonna go outside and make sure that I can wheelie on these. I'm gonna let some air out of the tires and just hope, hope that it works. Oh yeah, Bulletproof said he thought he meant the upgrade of the motor. Not yet, but guess what? I'm gonna try Shaw's Super 72 volt. He actually put the Huntsman's tires on there, but I think he's gonna swap them out because they're not rated for that highest speed. And I think he's gonna go more with like a street tire on it. So I wish I had a freaking torque wrench for these and know what how much torque I'm supposed to put on it. All right, that's on. Toeboy said, I think e-bike content is going to eventually catch a lot on YouTube. E-bikes got a big boost last year. Oh yeah. And hopefully this community will grow in the coming years. COVID really gave us a boost to this community <laughs> like, like no other. Ryan Oof. said, I turned 49 in March. What? Happy super early birthday. Shop Gather said, what model Super 73 is this? This is a Super 73 RX, but I think they're calling it something like the, crap, what did I say earlier? Mojave? Mojave, something like that. I was getting lost. I'm just putting my brake caliper back on. Do the tires affect speed at all? Um, these... I feel like compared to those, having like that type of tread, I don't think it should really make that much of a difference. It's not like this is like super like dirt bike tread style where it's gonna be like super vibrating. Oh, so let's see, we have some comments on TikTok. TikTok, what's up? I'm sorry, we, we, we got TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube live running, so it's kind of hard to get everybody's uh, comments. You're just calling right like, away. get a sir on. Yeah, I got a sir on. And again, see that swing arm? That's a giveaway for a sir on. Coming up very soon. Uh, Rowan Rubio, how much money have you spent on your Super 73? Oh man, I don't even know. When I first got it, it was only like 3,200 bucks. And then with all the upgrades, man, probably total of maybe close to five grand maybe with all the upgrades, like tires and seat. Headlight, different grips, pedals. Like I pretty much did everything. Like I, I just love modding bikes to like what your style is. You know what I mean? Johnny Sir on E on Instagram. I'm from the UK and I love your content. Keep up the good vibes, bro. I appreciate you, brother. What time is it there right now? I think it's almost your guys' bedtime. I was talking to guys from the UK and they're like, oh man, it's so late. <laughs> You guys on Instagram, make sure you follow Shreddy on YouTube. We are streaming this live on YouTube right now as well. I hope I didn't get air in my lines from being upside down. Another comment says, what's going on here? 
<laughs> he is upgrading and changing his tires on the Super 73 electric bike. What is that on Insta? Yes. What's up Insta? Head over to YouTube if you guys want to hear better quality on the microphone. Because we got mics on our, on our bodies. You can hear us a lot better. All right. David Hook says, mine is the Mojave, but it's black. There's still a slight rubbing, so I'm going to eye it up, this one. Loon said, Shreddy's birthday is February 20th. 220, it's coming. It's coming Jennifer soon. Jennifer said, Brian, LOL, I will be 49 in March. Hold on, more people? On, yeah. On, wow, that's awesome. Madison said, I don't wheelie. Really, I'm 58 and want to stay out of the ER. Before I <laughs> tires, I wipe out... Oh, before I replaced tires, I wiped out on loose gravel, taking a turn at 12 miles an hour and took most of the skin off my legs and arms. So, you know wheelies. Wow. I'm having like a little bit of rubbing. Usually you're supposed to squeeze the brake and then tighten the calipers. But sometimes... Johnny Suron said, it out. it's 2.35 a.m. in the UK. Whoa. I work nights, LOL. Oh, nice, nice. So you're able to hang out and I don't feel bad for you guys watching. <laughs> oh, like which, which tire is it? Um, he has the tire, if you go under his YouTube video, his YouTube live that we're streaming right now, in YouTube's description, he has the tire linked in the description. But the name of them are the V-Tire E Huntsman's. And these are made for electric bikes, only rated for about 36 miles an hour. Fat tire e-bikes. So not made for like those super, super duper crazy fast bikes. All right, and then what else did I have, did I have to do, guys? There's something else that I'm not remembering. Toad Boy, Toad Boy, are you thinking about becoming an e-bike YouTuber? <laughs> you said, Does he have any your questions? YouTube ad revenue look like for e-bike videos? <laughs> He's trying to figure out if it's his next career goal. <laughs> your ad revenue? What, like 500 a month right now? From YouTube? Just making sure everything uh, looks good. Yeah, it's not, nothing too crazy from YouTube, but most of the money is made where you're selling your products that like, you suggest or that you like. Yeah, like you guys clicking on the- Amazon website. helps a lot. That's looking good. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Cable. Power. Power. Line up the arrows. Oh, I said, okay, let me switch to the YouTube account then. Shreddy rocks. Thank Shreddy you. McSkate, thank you. Who said that where? On um, Instagram. Oh, awesome. So some people, I guess, on Instagram and TikTok, like, don't know I have a YouTube. It's so funny. Okay, so. Rafael said, I'm, Rafael Hernandez, I'm going to be 37 on March 2nd. Happy birthday. I'll be right back. I'm going to get two zip ties. You guys can still hear me though, so I can still answer comments or questions. Right now I'm in the garage. Brian McCann said March 12th for me. Getting us. Mark, what did you say? Brian McCann said something? So Raphael is March 2nd. Brian McCann's March 12th. Scarecrow's March 27th. What the hell? Is that like all Pisces <laughs> in here? And Shreddy's the Pisces? Oh yeah, are they Pisces? Is What's that what that means? What's Pisces? Then it's, um, what I is don't it? even know. Aries, possibly? Go March. <laughs> Woohoo! So I'm gonna pull that motor cables tight down and away from any kind of that rotor pulling it. For those of you watching on Instagram, what's your birthday? And TikTok. Yeah, who's as close to 220? <laughs> on TikTok, nice carpeted garage, bud. <laughs> That, I actually do have a carpeted garage outside in the garage. This is the carpet from the garage, yeah. actually. He brought it in. This is the actual carpet from the garage. I really hope that I like these tires Ultima for wheelies. Ultima said 36 mile an hour limit. I'll have to find something else for my Rad Mini. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty sure that's what it says it's rated for. Gather said, bye guys, see you soon. See you, yeah. Um, Who was that? Let's go out to eat when you guys get back. Oh, where are they going? I gotta get back to work. What's going on? Zamora says, zip tie, shreddy, don't forget. I got them. I just did them. Thank you, brother. These are made in Thailand. 
All right, should I flip the bike back up and sit on it and see what they feel like? I feel like I'm making. Toyboy said, well, I plan to make content and tons of e-bike channels have arose in the past year and I was wondering how they were doing. 500 a month for a 10K sub channel seems pretty dang good. Guys, I feel so good that I just did this. Brakes still need a little bit of alignment on. Oh, Brian, I was right. Scarecrow is Aries, I believe. Will proof said I'm a cancer, LOL. When's your birthday? Can you guys guess oh. what I am? <laughs> um, Toad Boy, I might try e-bike backpacking next summer. Oh, this goes oh that's up. what you want to do. I do. I want to do some little stealth camping. Maybe you guys can go together. All right. All right. Waking Rob, I'll be 38 on Thursday. Also, I just got an Air Rider Grizzly because of Shreddy's videos. Awesome. Thank I don't know you. if it's just like it's in my head, but I feel like I'm higher off the ground with these tires. I don't know if that's just in my head. Maybe because you blew them up so much. <laughs> that could be. Oh no, I got air in my lines. They didn't feel this bad until I flipped them upside down. Let me just pump everything back up. Oh, I just hope I don't have to bleed these or burp them. Sometimes when you flip your bike upside down, it does that, it like lets all the air out. All right, I think I'll be good. All right. I don't know, what do you think? Do you guys think it looks pretty cool? Guys, if you guys are enjoying the content up until now, make sure you guys check out all those links. Actually on Instagram, there is a link tree in my bio if you guys are interested in any discount links for e-bikes, accessories, or any of the uh, recommended products off of my Amazon store, I have the link in there. As always, it's very appreciated if you guys just click those links. Just e look at them. discount links. Just look at them. And YouTube. Um, what do you guys think of, of the way it looks? E-bike discount links in the YouTube video descriptions also. And I did it right. It's facing forward. The tread is right, guys. There's no better feeling than that. Looks nice. Than that. Any questions or comments on TikTok or YouTube? David Cook, yeah, looks good, brother. Oh, yeah. Dude, I can't wait to try Dude, to wheel that it. that looks sick. I do love the look of it. I love it. So I got 25 PSI in the back. That feels like too much for wheelies. I can tell by feeling it. I can tell. I like a little bit of, of bounce. I feel like 20 PSI would probably be good for wheelies. Let me go to the front, see what we got. I want to bring the front down to about 20. Five ish. Johnny Suron looks dope. Do you guys like this freaking swing arm? Don't forget, guys, we're having a giveaway for this swing arm coming up in about one week. One solid week. And a giveaway tomorrow as well. Suron, Suron Canada giveaway coming up tomorrow too. I just got to get a, a post up for you guys. That says 24. We'll keep that at that. Did you hear um, from Instagram, Waking Rob said he got an Arrow Rider Grizzly because of Shreddy's videos? Oh, hell yeah. I appreciate it, brother. Do you, got, do you got yours all modded out? What have you done to it so far? Have you switched out the seat yet? Handlebars? I just want to see what this thing like feels like the wheelie. I, I'm, I'm so excited to do this. And guys, if you guys are interested in these V-Tire E-Huntsmans, there is an Amazon link. I'm not sure if they are totally sold out or not, but just keep checking that link. They should be back in stock pretty soon. Amazon link in the YouTube yep. video description. And guess what? Here's a little extra for today, guys. I'm gonna be unboxing or un opening these uh, V-Tire snowballs. So. Hopefully, if it freaking snows sometime soon, I'm gonna be able to. I don't wanna freaking like slice the tires. Toad Boy Vlog said I might try e backpacking next summer. Charles La Rubia, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Oh, what's up, Brazil? I think you're the first person to say what's up from Brazil. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much for joining the channel, bro. 
I gotta pay attention to this razor blade. Well, Loon said Shreddy needed base C8000 on that bike. <laughs> on the super? <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should put a BAC 8000 on the Huck, and then I'll keep it. All right, so these are other the other tires I got from V. These are the Snowball tires for e-bikes made specifically for e-bikes. So these are 20, I think these are 20 by four, or they could be 20 by fives. But wait till I get close with a tread on these suckers. What's, it, what's everybody doing on TikTok? How many people we got over Waking there? Waking Rob said, just got the Air Rider, so no mods yet, but you bet I will. Hell Waking, yeah. Waking Rob, you should check out um, the upgraded headlight, which he has on this Super 73, and he also has it on his Air Rider from Wicked Thumb. Um, he has a discount code. Yep. We can send you that. If, you friend, if you're friends with Shreddy on Instagram, we can send you a link to that. It looks really cool on the Air Rider. And then he has a discount code for it. Oh my God, this is taking forever. <laughs> so, what are, size are they? Hold on, no, it's still not unwrapped over there. They said, Trey, are you going hiking on the Appalachia Trail? We did before, right, Dee? We did once. That was a lot of fun. I would like to go out there Again, for sure. I love camping. Mainly uh, camping on my hammock. I like hanging a hammock, putting a little bug net around it, and a tarp over top. So I have like a whole Eno set up for my hammock camping. It's awesome. I did a hammock camping in Tampa one year in a thunderstorm. It was like so much fun. The most relaxing thing I've ever done. It was so much While fun. While it was lightning, it was relaxing. It was awesome, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how much I love like storms and just stuff like that. All right. FW Mano joined. Shreddy, I'll be hitting you up soon. Want to send you a decal for your soup? Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Maybe we can do the Shreddy logo on there with a little army around it. That'd be kind of cool. All right. All right. So let's see what the size of, of these are. Yeah. So these are 20 by fours, same exact size as those. And guess what? We got freaking tread. Um, Studs, bro. We got studs. We got studs. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Look at that. We're going to be able to take this on the snow, possibly on like on ice. This is going to be a lot of fun. So these tires are going to be going on the Grizzly. So we'll be putting that on right before a nice snowfall or before it gets like super duper cold. I think next week's going to be around 25 degrees. I hope to goodness that we get some snow so I could try these snowball tires out like I am, I'm gonna have so much fun. I've never ridden like freaking tires, studded tires on ice or snow. Like, I think that's gonna be amazing. I think that's gonna be amazing. And guys, again, we're gonna be doing the giveaway for Suron Canada tomorrow. We got a hat, we got a shirt, we got a face cover, Suron glove, we got fanny packs, um, Suron key uh, holders. Uh, what else we got? Another fanny pack, but yeah, we got, all this stuff, then after the Suron giveaway is over, we're gonna be giving away this swing arm from Defiant EMX. You're gonna be able to choose your custom color, get it powder coated that color, and you also could probably choose like your own little logo in there. So that's gonna be awesome. You can get it uh, glossy, semi-gloss, matte. So a lot of fun to be had with this. You can get bigger, bigger diameter tires in here. Um, it's gonna have a lot, uh, but not a lot of, it's gonna be able to handle a lot of power from like say a 72 volt. David Cook said, I need a Suron, I want the Ultra B so bad. Ah, that thing looks like a lot of fun, I tell you. I would love to get one too, bro. Do you guys hear that fire going on? <laughs> Shreddy has a discount code for Surons now. I do, I always forget about that. Thanks for reminding me, D. Jeez, how could I forget that? So if you guys check out that link for built e-bikes, they are from Florida, I'm pretty sure, and then you can get $50 off a Suron from them guys over there. The link is, of course, down below in the YouTube video Link down below. It wasn't too bad of a struggle today. It wasn't too bad. Shout I liked miss. it. Delaware barely has any snow anymore. I wanted the snow. It was snowing this morning. I know. I we, snow. we got maybe, like yeah, like a little, little Last year we got flurry, lovely. yeah. 
Hold on, did we get snow last year? I don't even remember. Yes. I can't remember. The year before we didn't. Well, because down the beach it's like warmer. I'm so, I, I, Ultima said my birthday was about a week ago. Happy birthday, Ultima. Happy birthday. Zero Boy Rick. I put a piece of tape with an arrow on the rim so I know the rotation direction when mounting tires. That's a good idea. Yes, I've had to do it over before because I got it wrong. Deuce or Die said that swing arm. Yeah, you guys like that swing arm? I'm definitely digging it. I can't wait to mount mine on my bike. He's going to make me a custom color also, and he's going to put the Shreddy Mc logo right there on his side. So I'm, I'm super stoked about that. That's going to be fun. I wonder if actually he could do like cool designs on the whole swing arm to like kind of make it custom with, with it. That'd be pretty sick. I like that. Toboy said, what is your ideal top speed for e-bikes? <laughs> Man, it all depends on how I'm feeling that day. Some days I like riding around say 30 miles an hour. Sometimes I just wheelie at 10 miles an hour and sometimes I get on my surround and top it out around 60, 65 miles an hour. But it really depends on how I'm feeling that day. Like if I feel like ripping. Bulletproof. I need those snowball tires. Got almost two inches of sleet in Tennessee. What? In Tennessee? Oh, what? Oh, that's awesome. What part of Tennessee are you Dude, from? I should, we should go visit uh, Bulletproof sometime and hang out with him. I used to go to like Johnson City, Pigeon Forge like every August because my dad was from down there. So I thought the studs were going to be on the whole tire. So it's not on the center tread. It's actually on like the, the outside here and then the two very far outsides. Or actually it's like kind of skips every few or something. I don't know. It's like a weird tread pattern. Huh. All right. I, I'm interested in these. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Any questions on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube? Snow oh. tires are great in the sand, too. Bulletproof said West Tennessee. Oh, wow. Eight people still hanging out there. West Tennessee. It's been a while since. I went to Nashville one time in my life, and it was actually a lot of fun. I got to just skate somewhere in the city for a little bit, and then we had to go home. It wasn't too, too long. But Tennessee is an awesome place. Guys, we got these tires mounted. I'm going to go outside and try to wheelie this sucker, guys. Everybody that hung out, thank you guys so much for hanging out on another Struggling with Shreddy. We'll have some more Struggling with Shreddy soon. Stay tuned for the giveaways coming up very soon. Um, as always, again, if you guys want to support the channel, check out all those discount links down below. There might be a bike you like. I also have discount links uh, for accessories. I also have... Uh, Accessories that I recommend on my Amazon store. So if you guys go over there and just, if you don't even purchase anything from what I'm suggesting for you to buy, even if you buy toothpaste, it gives me credit. So I really appreciate you getting into your Amazon through any of those links. Um, any more questions before we say bye bye? How do they enter the giveaway? So tomorrow, follow me on Instagram. We're going to put a post on there. We'll probably put a post on YouTube to let you guys know where to go. Uh, so just, just be on the lookout for that. And tomorrow, the giveaway. And tomorrow, the giveaway is going to be for Surround Canada. And then next week is for the swing arm. And then a week later, the, week, the, the giveaway is going to be for that. So the Surround Canada giveaway is running for one week. This one's going to run for a total of one solid month until we find the best custom looking Surround that needs this swing arm to make it even better. So, as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. I know there's, there's notifications on, on Instagram now, right? But maybe uh, not on TikTok. So if you guys enjoyed that, oh, that already did that. <laughs> and are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down and follow and whatever else. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Thank you guys for joining and thanks to all my new Shredhead members, you guys all rock.